There's no question that one of the best investments that you can make in yourself is reading books. If you've been on my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm a bit obsessed with reading books. I have got, I have gained so much knowledge and experience from reading book after book after book. And it by far is by just what you pay versus what you get in return. Like there is nothing that compares with the ROI of reading a book and taking action on what that book provides. But you've already heard this before. You've heard other people talk about how wealthy people read books. Here you can see I just laid out all these books. If you saw that other video, I spent 700 bucks or something on books. I don't always buy them new, but I was at Barnes and Noble and I thought, what the heck? Uh, I do that every once in a while, go on a big binge. So I think there's four, there's about roughly 30 books there. And if you want to become rich, you have to read books, blah, blah, blah. You've heard it before. So who am I is just another guy saying the same thing. But just so that it's not just me saying the same thing, I want to do something special today. I want to bring on other people that could share real results, quantifiable results that they have achieved by reading books. In fact, the people that I'm getting ready to share with you, these people have generated over $262,000 just from reading a book and taking action on that book. And if you say until the end, I'm going to share the book that has changed my life. In fact, I can contribute that I've made over a million dollars, actually probably millions of dollars because of this book that I read. So you're gonna find out what these books that other people have read and how they made 262,000 from reading these books and also the book that made me over a million dollars. Let's find out what these books are right now. It's hard to believe that a book can change somebody's life. It's hard to believe that by reading something, either either in paper form or on your iPad or Amazon Kindle, that just reading text written by somebody else on their experience can have such a tremendous impact on your life and change your future. But I have experienced that, I have seen it, I have had friends, I have, co-workers, I've had just acquaintances online and I've just seen the impact that books have. And yet when I talk to people and ask them what books are they reading or what books have they read, like I'm still amazed that there are still so many people that don't, that don't read books, that they think they can get their information from YouTube and online. And there is tons of valuable information online. I don't want to discount like the information you can get by watching YouTube channels and by reading blogs and all that stuff. But the reality is, man, like there's just so much information in books that you can get and you can apply to your life and see real results. Like it can happen, it will happen. And that's why I'm excited to share some other people's experiences from reading the books that they've had and also the results that they've seen with it. Quantifiable results that they can say, hey, I read this book and this is what happened because of it. And that's why I was excited to do this video collaboration with you and also very excited to share the book that had an impact on my life. These are people that are from the financial blogger community that I'm a part in. So these are bloggers, these are YouTubers that are committed to educating themselves and others in being responsible with their money and taking action and seeing actionable results. So the first creator I want to share with you, so her name is G. And for those that think this is just about making money and growing your business or scaling your business, G has a different story. So a book that she read was able to show her how to build up some savings and pay off a crazy amount of debt. So here is her book and the results that she saw from it. Hey everyone, Jean Entre here. Thank you, Jeff, for allowing me to be a part of this collaboration. So in the summer of 2017, I picked up a book called The Slight Edge. And in that book, there's so many analogies 
where the author talks about taking little steps of action and how that those little steps of action lead to big things. And so at that time, I did not have an emergency fund. And in the middle of reading that book, I took a decision to start an emergency fund. And so what I did was just directly using the tips from that book, I went and set up automatic deductions from my checking account into a special savings account that will allow me to build a $1,000 emergency fund. And within four to five months, that emergency fund was completely funded. It had $1,000 in it. On top of that, the tips in the book allowed me to pay off around 70% of my credit card debt. And I just think that that is so incredible. And that book stands out in my mind as such an instrumental book that um, I took direct action from. And that direct action actually led to something tangible, which was money in my bank account and also a bunch of debt that was paid down. I love hearing that from G because Whenever I read Total Money Makeover from Dave Ramsey, like that was the book that really inspired me to want to be debt free. And I was already on that path to becoming debt free, but Dave just put it in a way that just made it real. Like seeing the testimonies from other people that paid off hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt. And I used that book to train others, to teach others, you know, as a financial planner for those that wanted to, to become debt free. So I love Total Money Makeover as far as helping me become debt free and teaching others. I love hearing this book by G and what that did for her to be able to pay off 70% of her debt and get her cash savings in check. Like, man, like her future can only get brighter from here. All right, the next five are some pretty cool results from some amazing books. And you're gonna learn the story about someone that quit their day job to earn over $10,000 a month as a freelancer. You're gonna learn about the person who had a fear of self-publishing and went on to self-publish several books and made over for $22,000 in their first year just on publishing on Amazon. You're also gonna find out about the guy who read a book. This is a business owner that read a book and because of that book, he was able to make over $100,000 more per year with his business. And then you're gonna learn about the guy who read a book and took a year off, took a sabbatical from his business that was still running, still thriving, and still took care of his family while he took a year off from his business. And there is more, so enjoy the next five books and their results. Hey everyone, Eric Rosenberg here from personalprofitability.com. My favorite book that has changed the entire course of how I make money is The Art of Nonconformity by Chris Gillibo. I know his last name is kind of a mouthful there, but Chris is awesome. He runs great events, has several great books. This one was particularly meaningful for me though. Back when I discovered this book, I used to have a, a typical job in a gray cubicle every day, working you know, eight to six-ish in corporate America. You know, it was the, the finance and accounting world. And this book taught me you don't have to run your career the way other people expect you to. You don't have to follow the same blueprint and plan as everyone else. So, you know, following a lot of the points in this book, I rebuilt my career, I side hustled really hard, and I was able to take my freelance side hustle and turn it into a full-time job I quit two years ago. And it took me a few months after I quit to build up the income I have today, which is over $10,000 every month. If you can read it over my shoulder here, it says my last month income was $10,648. And that is not my biggest month ever, by far. But I wouldn't have it if I hadn't had the courage and the know-how to build my own business and try something new. And this book gave me a lot of that courage that I needed to know that I don't have to be like everyone else. I can build the business that's right for me and make money the way that makes the most sense for the way I want to live. So a huge thanks to Chris for writing this book, The Art of Nonconformity. I love it. It will always have a soft spot in both my heart and my bookshelf. Joseph Ho coming to you from the Let's Talk Money channel right here on YouTube. I want to thank Jeff for this opportunity to share a book with you that frankly has meant all the difference in my online income. In 2014, I had just started my own websites. I'd been freelancing for a few years, but now I was going to have my own online assets. I was going to be famous, like Jeff Rose famous. Then the reality set in. I wasn't making as much money as I had hoped. I was frustrated, disappointed, and probably would have given up if it hadn't been for Write, Publish, Repeat by Sean Platt and Johnny Truitt. 
The book helped me see how to fit self-publishing into my blog naturally and create another income source. Not only does the book take you through every step to write and self-publish your book, it's going to motivate you to get started and stay on track. So I self-published my first book in March 2015 and made just over 2100 on it and five others published that year. Last year I made 22,290 on 10 books and the best part is that it's almost completely passive income after you launch. Being able to have that monthly income has allowed me to keep blogging to keep helping people with their personal finance questions. It's freed up time to explore those other online income sources and keep doing what I love. Now I've since grown the business to five websites and the YouTube channel, but self-publishing still accounts for about a quarter of my income. To help you get started, I've published a detailed review of the book on the Let's Talk Money YouTube channel, including the five best tips that will transform you into a published author. Everyone has a book in them. Anyone can self-publish and I know you can too. Check out Sean's book and start creating your second income source today. Hey there. My name is Roger Whitney. I am host of the Retirement Edge Man podcast and the blog at rogerwhitney.com. Excuse me. I've been up since 3 a.m. this morning. Just got off a plane from Dallas to New York City. and I'm sitting here waiting for a plane to go to Mongolia on some grand adventure. That's a whole nother story. But I wanted to make sure I got this video in to help Jeff Rose out because Jeff asked me to share a book that I've read that led to some significant growth in my life and in my business. So I definitely got a bunch of those. But the one I want to talk about today is the book Lynchpin by Seth Godin. It's a classic. It came to me, and I think books come to you. It came to me about four or five years ago when my advisory practice, I'm a financial advisor, had hit critical mass and it was really humming. And I was finding myself with a lot of free time uh, as a dividend for all the processes that we have created. And I was getting a little bit bored. And I had this choice of, man, what am I going to do with the rest of my life now that we've hit this and just more of the same? So I read Lynchpin and the concept of taking it, whatever you do and becoming an artist really challenged me to quote unquote, take it to the next level in the sense that whatever you do in life and, and you, you could be a janitor, you can be an artist and bring what is uniquely you. And the more you lean into what is more, what is uniquely you, the more you're going to separate yourself from everybody else and protect yourself from composition because nobody can be you and bring what you can bring. And I really took that to heart. And as a result of reading that book, I started a podcast, the Retirement Answer Man podcast, which is going on four and a half years. It's won two awards for best retirement podcast. I've grown my business by well over 50%, which is equates to multiple six figures in income every year because I've leaned into whatever specialness I think I have and what I got. God is calling me to do. I've written a book, Rock Retirement, that was released this last March. And I've made friends literally all over the world that are just the most amazing people. Jeff Rose being one of them. My counsel to you is keep reading and putting good thoughts in your head, good ideas in your head, because you never know when a book is going to come to you at the right time and change the entire course of your life. All right. I'm out of here. I'm I'm headed to Mongolia to ride the two hump camel. What's up, guys? It's Nick True here. Today, Jeff invited me to share with you how books have absolutely changed my life and my finances. Now, I've got a handful of the most recent books that I've read here with me. I don't have time to go through all of them with you right now, but I am going to go through one and show you what I read, what I implemented, and what it did for me. Now, before I share my example, I do want to mention just one quick thing. Implementation is key here. If you just mindlessly read books and you don't ever actually take action on the books that you're reading, then it's just a waste of time. Whenever I read a book, I read with a pen in one hand, a book in the other, and coffee at my side. And as I'm reading, I take meticulous notes in the margins on what things stood out to me. And then when I'm all done, I actually spend two to three hours writing up a summary of that book based on the notes in the margins and the things that I underline. And then at the very top of that summary, I actually write down to one, two, three, or five things that I'm actually going to implement from that book. All right, so let's talk about 
Profit First. Now, this is a finance book for business owners. It's a straightforward system to help you actually get your business finances in order or as a freelancer. The book's core message is to take the normal equation that we associate with generating profit in a business and flip it around. Here's the original equation. It's sales minus expenses equals profit. Now, this book takes that equation and it changes it to where it's sales minus profit equal expenses. If you've ever heard the term pay yourself first, it's essentially the same concept just applied to a business. The big idea is that when you take profit first, you're actually starting to use the business to build long-term wealth for yourself and put away some money in case a rainy day comes along. At the same time, you're also forcing yourself to take the profit and then use whatever expenses are left over to actually run your business. This means that if you don't have enough money in the business to do a certain thing or do a certain strategy, then you probably need to figure out a way to run your business a a little more frugal, a little leaner so that you can make that happen. All that to say, I implemented this system back in January and here we are five months later and I now have an extra $8,000 in my personal bank account and an additional $2,000 in a business profit account that is saved away for a rainy day. Building a profitable business is a long and slow process, but this book right here has fundamentally changed the game for me. So that's it guys. Big thanks to Jeff for letting me come on here and share with you what I've been learning. I hope you got something out of it. My name is Nick True and I will see you later. At the beginning of this video, I talked about how a book can give you the largest ROI on any investment. To spend 10 or $15 on a book and get 100, 1,000, a million times return on such a small investment, like there is nothing that compares. And the next book that I'm gonna share with you or that someone else is gonna share with you, this person spent $15 on their book and they saw a thousand times return with that. So we're gonna find out what that book was and how they were able to get over a thousand times return on that book. Hi Jeff, it's Chris from CanIRetireYet.com. Uh, the book that gave me the biggest uh, return on investment was J.L. Collins' The Simple Path to Wealth. Um, prior to finding that book, I was just always intimidated by investing and I always felt like I needed to go to an advisor and get help. And in the process, I was getting some awful advice. So when I found that book, it really simplified everything and it gave me the confidence to seek out other sources of information and start doing my own investing. And so within one year, I started saving about $8,000 in investment fees and about another $8,000 in taxes that I was paying unnecessarily for a total of about $16,000. So you figure for about a $15 book, that's a thousand times return in one year, which only grows with every year. Uh, and even better yet for me, when I actually found um, J.L. Collins' work, he had not yet published the book, so I read it in blog form. Uh, so he has it on his blog as the stock series. And so it was actually an infinity return, which makes it even a little bit better. But whether you want to read the blog or read the book, uh, you can't go wrong with that one. So I would highly recommend it. All right, the last two books you're going to hear about, not by me, uh, in these books you're going to learn about how negotiating can make you think thousands, we're also going to find out how connecting with old friends and acquaintances can yield over $100,000 of income if you read the book and you take these steps. So let's find out what these two books are right now. Yeah, so I am forever indebted to Tim Ferriss in the four-hour work week, just like so many people are. I read that book probably nine, ten years ago now, and it just revolutionized so much for me. And, uh, and there's a lot I didn't apply from the book, but you know, just like with so many books, if you just take one thing and do it, you know, if you get one nugget out of a book, it's really worth it. And so in my case, I began taking more and more time off and just continuing to stretch what that looks like. And so he talked about this concept of mini retirements and taking three to six months off, in which at the time was absolutely absurd to me. But just last year, I took the entire year off. And so uh, I, you know, have taken that to heart. And, uh, but it all started with small steps, like taking a week off and just and really disconnecting from technology for a single week. And so I practiced that and then I moved up to a month and I did a month a few times. And then last year, like I said, we took the entire year off. So I am really grateful to Tim for that because that was absolutely life-changing. And I don't think it ever would have happened had I not read that book. Hey, Jordan Harbinger here from The Jordan Harbinger Show. One book that I really liked recently, in fact, was David Burkus, Friend of a Friend is the title of the book. 
And in the book, David talks about something called opportunistic network maintenance. So when we think, wow, how do I know who to keep in touch with and when do I reach out to them? David recommends using our social media feeds like Facebook and Instagram. And when we see a friend who has important news, new child, got married, took a vacation, instead of just clicking like or leaving a comment, what we can do is then reach out to that person and send them a text, an email, or even see them in person. So we kind of go above the fold and opt for a higher level of engagement. And what this has done for me over years, because of course, of course I got the inside look at that technique in the early version of the book, I've been using this for years and what this has done for me has gotten me tons more opportunity to be on speaking stages, has reignited opportunities for me to be in other books, be on podcasts, go speak, find all kinds of opportunities I wouldn't have had before with people that I previously lost touch with. So I highly recommend checking out David Burkis, Friend of a Friend, and using opportunistic network maintenance. Instead of just engaging with social media, engage with the people behind the social media instead. Okay. There's no denying that reading books is good for you. And we've all read some pretty awesome books. Some of them have even changed our lives. But it's not every day that you read a book that tangibly changes your life immediately after you finish reading it. Never Split the Difference is one of those books. Never Split the Difference is written by a gentleman by the name of Chris Voss. He was a top hostage negotiator for the FBI. This book directly influenced how I handle negotiations. And immediately after reading this book, It saved me over $3,000 negotiating repair value on an apartment complex that I was buying. This entire book is packed with great information in regards to negotiation. All right, I hope you enjoyed learning more about these books and some of the results that these people have seen from these books. I mean, there's just some cool stories there, some amazing results. At the beginning of this video, I talked about how I was gonna share the book that has had a major, a huge impact on my life and how I can contribute to making millions because of it. And if you've been on this channel for any, any amount of time, you know, you've seen me talk about other books and just in my office, you can see like all the books that I have, books here, books here, I had to put books in my master bedroom closet just because I was running out of a room. My wife was like, your office is just so cluttered because all your books. I'm like, I know, but I love books. Uh, And you may have just also checked out another video where I recap the top 10 books have had a huge impact on my life. And you know, these are them here. You can watch that video to learn more about them. In another video, I talk about Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which has had just an amazing impact on my life. And you're probably, if you watch that video, you're probably assuming that this is the book that I'm going to talk about right now but it's not actually the book that I want to contribute the just to making millions is this one crush it by Gary Vaynerchuk all right so why crush it not rich dad poor dad or really why not any of these other books so rich dad poor dad I read that when I was 19 20 years old and that book just inspired me and showed me that there's another way to build wealth you don't have to go to college and get the the career job and work nine to five like it just basically opened my horizons and opened my mindset to allow myself to just daydream and wonder and believe that there was something else. It didn't tell me what to do. It didn't tell me uh, what I should do, but it just gave me hope for something better, something bigger. But with Crush It, so I read this book when I had just started my blog. I was just getting into social media and wanting to get more into YouTube. And when Gary wrote this book, he had Wine Library TV, which at the time was like one of the most popular business uh, YouTube uh, channels out there. And it wasn't so much business, but it was marketing his business. Hello everybody and welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Vay Nerchuk, and this, my friends, is The Thunder Show, AKA the internet's most passionate wine program. Uh, basically, that was like a launching pad to what he is right now. Just watching Gary and, and reading this book and just talking about really living your passion. And I know many of you struggle with that, trying to figure out what your passion was. But for me, at the time of reading this book, like I knew what that passion was. Like I enjoyed talking about personal finance and financial planning and investing. Like these are all topics that I, I just, I felt like I've been called to do. And to be able to utilize social media, the internet, blogging to, to get my voice out there to get uh, my message out there. I mean, that's what Gary talked about in this book was just using the tools that are available to you, to us, that are still available even more so now. This book really just pushed me 
to take it to that next level. It's 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 because I wanted to have the, the best financial planner blog out there. It's because I wanted to be active on social media. I wanted to get into YouTube and just felt like I was an early adopter on trying new online marketing strategies and, and jumping into things, um, you know, like Vine and uh, uh, Periscope, you know, like when those were like the cool things to do and just be willing to try and put myself out there. And that's really kind of the, the core message behind this book, Crush It. And just when I read this book at that time in my online business journey, it just was the catapult to just push me to do more and just keep going, you know, just keep hustling, keep grinding, uh, as Gary's always says. So, I mean, this book it just was a fire that pushed me to just continue to push the blog and could push those online boundaries that I didn't even really know what the, those were, but I was determined to figure that out. And that's why I can contribute making millions because of this book, Crush It. All right, so I know I'm not the only one that has read a book and seen quantifiable results. I know that I and the other people that you saw in this video are not the only ones that have seen success from reading a book. So I want to hear from you. What is a book that you have read that you loved, but most importantly, there was something in that book that inspired you to take action. What was that book that you read? What was the action that you took? And what were those results? Let me and the YouTube community know in the comment section, because we wanna hear. I mean, plus two, if you read a book and you saw some good return because of it, like I wanna know what that book was, especially if I haven't read it yet. And I know others would appreciate you sharing that book and the results that you saw in the comments below. So I would appreciate you doing that. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it the thumbs, smash it, all that fun stuff, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you're a book 